Hey guys, in this digest, Tesla is updating warranty, is helping to create a COVID-19 vaccine and started selling Tesla shorts. About Tesla, Tesla launched Cybertruck reservations in China. Trucks are not that popular in this market, but still, about 400,000 pickups are sold in China every year, so Tesla may get a share of that. Cybertruck is also popular among people who usually like other types of cars. Also, Elon Musk tweeted that later this year Tesla will try to do a cross-country drive with a Cybertruck so more people will be able to see the car. Elon gave a hint where the next Gigafactory will be. It's Asia again, but not China. It might be South Korea since LG Chem will start supplying batteries for Tesla from its South Korean plant. But Elon noted that they need to finish Gigafactory Berlin and the second Gigafactory in the US first. By the way, Tesla changed its plan for the German Gigafactory. Now the company is going to cut 30% more trees to build a testing track, but will use 33% less water. Also, Tesla decided to not leave space for battery production at the factory. The annual production is now set at 100,000 cars instead of 500,000, and Tesla started the construction process before getting the final approval, at its own risk. Tesla used to have problems with the MCU in its older cars. It slowed down dramatically or even stopped working at all. A lot of Tesla owners had to replace it, and some of them think the problem is somehow related to eMMC. Earlier, Tesla had a 4-year and a 50,000-mile warranty. If the MCU broke within this period, the company replaced it for free. This week, Tesla updated its warranty policy and slashed the coverage in half to 2 years or 25,000 miles. Meanwhile, the NHTSA even started an investigation of 63 Model S that may have had problems. NHTSA also announced there may be problems with the battery cooling system that may cause fire. Tesla increased the price of its FSD package to $8,000, as promised. This probably helped Tesla in the second quarter because lots of owners decided to buy it. Elon says the price will be higher in the future, too. Musk also talked about Tesla's autopilot progress. Earlier, he said the software literally had to be rewritten. At the same time, Model S was spotted on the road with new sensors and lighters. Now Elon says new software will be released in two to four months, and we can expect a lot of new features. And right now, Tesla is capable of stopping if it notices a deer on the road. The deer is saved. Well, if the truck behind was slow. Dashcam caught interesting things this week. Like, one of the owners found out the valet was so not ready for the cheetah stance that crashed his car. Let's dive into financial news. A few weeks ago, Wall Street experts expected Tesla will sell up to 70,000 cars during the second quarter of 2020. Later on, some experts adjusted their expectations to 80,000 cars, but the company surprised everyone, having produced 82,000 cars and sold 90,650. The stock market loved the news. At the time of writing, the stock price is $1,380. It's worth mentioning that the Fremont factory wasn't open during the quarantine and Tesla not only managed to sell more cars than in the first quarter, but sales dropped only by 5% compared to the second quarter of 2019. Take Audi, for instance, their sales dropped by 30%. Elon Musk was so happy about Tesla's progress after Q2 results that he decided to make fun of SEC and short sellers and promised to make fabulous short shorts in red satin. It wasn't too long before the shorts actually showed up on the Tesla website. The price is 6942. The number is often used in juvenile jokes, but 420 is also the price at which Musk planned to take Tesla private a few years ago. Tesla owners from Silicon Valley already got Elon's approval to show up for the next Tesla shareholders meeting in these. Let's talk about coronavirus once again. Elon Musk said that Roman Engineering, the company Tesla bought earlier, is now working together with a German biopharmaceutical company, CureVac, that is creating a COVID-19 vaccine. CureVac has shown good results and recently got $300 million worth of financing from the German government. Musk tweeted that they're working on RNA microfactories for CureVac and are ready to partner with other companies. There's more. Tesla filed a joint patent with CureVac on a possibly revolutionary bioreactor for RNA. It has been in the works for a long time, even pre-COVID. Let's wish luck to everyone who is creating a vaccine, because seriously, we're sick and tired of coronavirus. Not literally sick, luckily. 
At the same time, Tesla issued a statement denying reports that the automaker has been firing employees over COVID-19 related absences. About Tesla Energy Corporate group from the UK commissioned six Tesla Megapack for 15 megawatt hours to store energy from renewable sources and afford peak time flexibility. They will use Autobidder platform that is now available in Europe. The software allows for better and more direct monetizing of energy storage assets like Tesla Power Packs, Power Walls, and Mega Packs. Green Mountain Power, Tesla's partner in Vermont, is expanding its Powerwall program featuring a big discount or a lease for its customers. The participants are supposed to share their stored energy with the GMP during peak hours. All in all, Tesla got a contract for supplying a thousand Powerwalls annually. About SpaceX. Just like I said, SpaceX has launches every week. The GPS-3 mission was successful, a 4-ton satellite was sent to MEO, fairing halves were fished out of the water and may be used in the next missions. A Lithuanian CubeSat manufacturer, Nano Avionics, signed two contracts with Exolaunch for the SpaceX SmallSat rideshare program. Falcon 9 will send the CubeSats in December. Exolaunch already filled the slots procured on SpaceX's first rideshare launch this year and is now procuring capacity on Falcon 9 rideshare launches in 2021. SpaceX is also planning to launch the South Korean military satellite and NASA's 2 by the end of this month. It will probably use the same first stage as Crew Dragon. What's up with Starship, you may ask? Let's keep it quick. The SN27 Raptor engine was installed on the SN5 prototype. The SN6 is having some utility equipment installed and the SN8 got a new test tank. About Elon Musk. Elon Musk is supporting Kanye West, who said he wants to be a candidate in the new presidential election. I mean, let's not forget, Elon said Kanye is the one who inspires him. Everyone in this room is inspired by you. Who are you inspired by? Well, Kanye West, obviously. <laughs> Elon also found a buyer for his four houses in Los Angeles. It is a real estate developer who's planning to turn these $62.5 million worth of houses into one project. And that's it for today, you guys. Thank you for watching. Let's not forget to click that like button, and I'll see you next week.